semi reader Crope Song, and today I will be reading to you from Desert Road by Doomsday Phoenix. Now, on to Chapter 7. It was a long, tiring road to the Arizonan border. Of course, as America promised, he and Russia stopped to rest past Albuquerque for a brief period of time where they bought snacks and refilled the tank. The sun was slowly sinking, and the sky was starting to change from blue to more of an orange-yellow. However, the pair of friends had also been tuning in to listen to the weather forecast, just to keep tabs on that storm that kept being mentioned. When they passed the border, America began to look around for some place to pull over. Occasionally, they drove past a small building of some sort, but there weren't any inns or hotels or even gas stations nearby, it seemed. He sighed. Russ, I think we might have to pull over. On the side of the road? He glanced over at his companion, who nodded. Yep, I don't see any good place to stop. No signs or anything. And if we keep going to the canyon, we're not going to get any sleep. You've got the point, he mused. Look, I don't care what you do. I'd rather do what you're suggesting than have you fall asleep at the wheel. The Tower Nation laughed. America made a face. Come on, I've pulled all-nighters before. Mm-hmm, and when was the last time you did? Uh, not important. Then you've proved your own point. Let's just find a flat place to pull off. Russia chuckled. America playfully rolled his eyes before easing off the gas and gently guiding the camper off the road into the dusty desert terrain. Once completely off, he parked the vehicle and shut off the engine. Hey, a mate. Russia glanced outside his window. Yeah? Isn't that the big storm we've been hearing so much about? He pointed to the dark, ominous-looking group of clouds that were situated far off to the left of the travelers. From the looks of it, it was already dumping heaps of rain across the desert, something that probably happened only once or twice a year. I think you might be right. America nodded. I mean, hey, at least we won't get caught in it. He yawned and climbed out of the seat, entering the back of the van. That's not all. Did you look at the rest of the sky? Russia sounded awestruck. America turned back around for a double take and realized that the sky was beginning to turn from a yellow-orange to an array of vibrant pinks and purples. He gasped. Oh, this is perfect. This is the kind of view I was trying to describe. And it's exactly the kind of view I was hoping for, his friend added before swinging open his door and leaping out and shutting it. Half confused, America followed him. Come on, we'll get the better look from the top. The top? Oh! <laughs> America suddenly understood. There's a ladder to the roof on the back. He led Russia over to said ladder before quickly scaling it. Soon enough, both countries were on the roof of the vehicle. Carefully, America sat down at the head of the van, and Russia sat next to him. Funny how this worked out, huh? Russia chuckled again. I got my promised American sunset. It's beautiful, isn't it? America sighed happily. Hey, what are Russian sunsets like? Mine? Hmm. Well, I've seen my fair share of sunsets up past the Arctic Circle. Those just hit different, I suppose. An Arctic sunset? I think I might know what our next road trip might be. Next road trip? Russia thought for a moment. Will that be our thing? Traveling the world together like an old married couple? 
<laughs> Old married couple. America laughed. I mean, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Russia gazed at his friend as he laughed. All right, then. I mean, unless that's too weird. America's laughter died down. Because, you know, we... I... I don't know. Russia snickered. It's all right, the May. Honestly, it's pretty fitting. America looked flustered. I... <laughs> I suppose it is. Yeah. Anyway, the storm is getting pretty close. Should we, you know, head back inside? Are you kidding? I've got the best view in the world right now. I got all I need, right here. He smiled at America, who blushed even more. Roz, you're doing that on purpose, aren't you? Doing what? Flirting? He shrugged nonchalantly. Nah, I know what I'm doing. Ah! America gently shoved his friend, letting out a nervous laugh. Where is this coming from? I don't know. Just feels right, I guess. Russia shrugged again. But if you're uncomfortable, I can stop. No, no, it's not that. America shook his head. I'm... I'm fine with it. Wait, is that weird? Nope. Just makes you gay. His friend teased. The other country made a face. You know that doesn't work on me, right? I am gay. I know. Russia smirked. It's really obvious. Oh, you. America half-tackled his friend, and the pair laughed together in a lopsided hug. There were some distant rumbles of thunder. You know, flirting with a gay man kind of makes you gay, Russ. America giggled and pulled back to look at his friend. Huh, I guess you're right. Russia shrugged once more. Ah, well, at least I've got company. Why are you so chill about all this? The smaller nation looked at his friend, half curious, half nervous. Russia gave his companion a warm smile. It's quite simple, Amé. He gestured at the fading sunset. Because, given the choice, I'd live the rest of my life like this, chasing sunsets with my closest friend. He paused. And that seems kind of a little too romantic for a pair of guys who are just friends, yeah? I can't tell if you're joking or not anymore. America's face was a bright red. That's not the problem. Russia laughed softly. I can think of a way to clear up the confusion. And that is? Do you trust me? Is that even a question? Of course I... America was cut off as he was brought in close and kissed by Russia. He was shocked at first, but quickly relaxed. It lasted for only a few moments before they pulled away from each other. Did that help? Russia asked, chuckling at America's starstruck face. Y yeah, it did. Are you sure? You still look a little confused. You might be right. America, though nervous, leaned back in. They kissed again. Better? Better. Good. Russia wrapped his arms around America, who clung to him happily. More thunder rumbled across the sky. A few raindrops fell from above, but the pair didn't move. Mm, should we head in now? He looked back up at his new partner. Only if you want to. Russia shrugged. I'd hate for this to end, though. We could make this a yearly thing or something, America suggested. We can take the camper out here again and make this our little pit stop. That sounds perfect, the other nation smiled. More rain fell, and it was starting to soak them both. Okay, now I think we should head in, before we get sick.
Both countries laughed, then began to make their way back into the vehicle. Not long after they made it in, the rain began to pick up in intensity, and the drumming of the roof became louder. Not sure if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. America glanced outside. Lightning flashed on occasion. Russia unfolded the bed from the wall. Why? You scared? He smirked. America smirked back and rolled his eyes. Of course not. Heavy rain just gives me trouble sleeping. Ah, don't worry. Russia dramatically puffed out his chest. I'll protect you. America snickered. You goof. He climbed into the bed and his companion followed. But if you insist... He snuggled up next to Russia, who hugged him. I could get used to this. He smiled at America. Me too. He agreed. Then added, half to himself, I wonder what my states will think of this. I'm sure they won't care. Russia shrugged. But I have a feeling some of them won't be surprised. What makes you say that? America looked confused. Russia laughed a little. Well, do you remember when you were baking me that pie? Of course, that was only a few days ago. America snickered. Well, a few of your states were telling me about how glad they were you and I were hanging out like this, and that you spoke of me often. Oh, he blushed. <laughs> I did tend to talk about you a lot. And now that I think about it, some of the states must have poked fun at it at some point. I guess it was meant to be, huh? Russia planted a kiss on America's forehead. I guess so. Eventually, the pair of nations drifted off. The sound of the storm hardly bothered them. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow with the epilogue, no less.